Well hello there everybody and welcome to today's mod install guide video. Just a quick one for you today, showing you how to install the much anticipated, much beloved expanded decorations vehicles mod. Now in this video it is just the vehicles part because this is day one release of the mod but in future this will be getting several major updates with all different categories of more decorations for you to use in your park builds and I'm going to be covering these pre-release every single time so if you want to know more about this mod see it on live streams in videos short videos all that kind of stuff i'll be covering a lot of this stuff pre-release okay so please sub to the channel if you haven't done already and like this video for this mod you don't need any dlc all you need is the acse but i will cover that in a moment in the meantime, if you want any of the great mods that go alongside this, free build and Wii tools, I would highly recommend for this as well. Please check out my latest mod install guide video, which is linked at the top of the description, which will show you how to install all of the other great mods for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Great stuff. Other than that then, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. So first of all, you're going to want to find your Jurassic World Evolution 2 install location. On Steam, all you do is you go to your Steam window, like so, find Jurassic World Evolution 2 in your library, right click, go to manage, and then browse local files, like so. And it opens up this window, showing you all of your game files. For Epic Games, as far as I know, there isn't a way to do that, so you will have to manually find your install location for Jurassic World Evolution 2, but the install steps are exactly the same once you've managed to find this folder. For the Xbox Game Pass version, also you will have to find your install location yourself, but it will look extremely similar to this, the same, as long as you've got these three folders you'll be okay. This is currently untested on the Xbox Game Pass version, so the install steps will be the same for the Steam, Epic and Xbox Game Pass version. But please let me know in the comments whether this works or not on that Xbox Game Pass version installed on PC, because I'd be very keen to know. Okay, so once you've found this install location, you want to go into Win64 and OVL data so you can see these folders. If you have other mods installed, you might have other folders in there. But for the sake of this video, I have literally uninstalled all my mods just to make this nice and simple. But if you have other mods, the will just go in these other folders alongside your existing mods as well. And it should work fine with them all. So at this point, you want to go to the description to the mod links that I've put in there. And first of all, you want the ACSE. This is required to enable the functions of this mod. So just go there, go over to the files tab and then click this manual download button like so and slow download you need to register on the nexus with this um, takes a minute or two but it's completely free so don't worry about that and the acse is in and while we're there we may as well get the expanded decorations vehicles mod as well now i'm not sure if inaki is going to split these into expanded decorations lots of different mod links but if he adds these under the same files tab they will be listed here and just do the same step for each one if not i'll include the links and they'll all appear like this you'll get the gist after just getting this it's a very simple setup procedure but other than that just go to files manual download like so and slow download and both of them are now in so all you need to do is open up the acse folder and drag that acse folder out into your ovl data folder like so and then you also want to go to your decorations vehicle zip that you've downloaded and just drop that into OVL data as well. It's installed. Good oh, you can now load your game and run it. That's fine. But I would recommend other mods to work with this as well. But if you just want this mod, they're installed, they'll work fine. As long as in your Win64 OVL data folder you have ACSE. And decorations vehicles you are good to go so let's load up and i'll just give you a quick showcase of what you can expect in this pack so i've just loaded into a testing pack any old sandbox pack just to test these they'll work on any sandbox pack possibly in campaign too you just scroll down look till you get to your decorations tab and move over to the left hand side look where you've got the facility tab and then scroll down and now look you have all these lovely placeable buildings including the parking platform right there you can place multiple you can place them over each other it's all good we also have the 
um, DFW helicopter we can place. These are static and not flyable as well. We've got the DFW ACU, like so. We have the normal ACU. I know the rotor blades are overlapping, but that's all good. We have the small van. We have the motorcycle, like so. We have the saloon car. We have the station wagon, the tractor, the van, also the SUV. This currently has an LOD issue, so if you get too close it flips, but that will be fixed in a future update. And the MPV, and there is also the large truck. Okay, that's lovely stuff. So it's installed, works fine. You can place these anywhere in your park. You can place multiple of them as well. Look, you can see you can place loads and loads and loads of these, look. But <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, like I say, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. There will be um, plenty of pre-release videos and live streams regarding this mod and all the new stuff that's going to be added. Potentially hundreds and hundreds of new decorations items, including eventually waterfalls, fire effects, smoke effects, construction items, all kinds of stuff, you know, that you probably never even dreamt of to begin with, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and I will catch you all again very soon. All the best, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.